Yo, yo, what's up, family? You cast know what it is. This is Celebrity Talk with Q, and I'm Q. Yay, hey, check this out. Uh, what can I tell you? Um, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, gained the victory over uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez in a 12 round professional bout. Hey, what can I say? Um, the first four rounds was pretty even. You know what? People have learned to respect the counter punch. A lot of good fighters have fought well and they threw a punch leaving their defenses low because a lot of fighters have to be trained how to keep their defenses up even while throwing a punch and a lot of fighters have changed the course of a bout by being hit with a counter punch I mean in the fight game people have learned to respect the counter punch uh, I remember back in the day people respected the haymaker the jab the right cross but now the counter punch can change the whole course of a fight. So it seemed like they both was a little leery of throwing the first flurry of punches in the first four rounds. Did you see that? I mean, they really had each other respect. That's right, Saul Alvarez had Floyd Money Mayweather's respect. Just like Saul didn't throw too many punches in the first four rounds. Floyd Mayweather didn't throw too many punches in the first four rounds. The punches, they were just kind of, you know, fending each other. They were just kind of throwing a few jabs. That's it. But by the fifth, sixth, and seventh round, I mean, Floyd went into action with a lot of combinations. And uh, he moved a lot. And uh, I don't think Carnelo was able to get to him. Um, one thing Carnelo has to be careful. You cannot base a whole fighting career just on hard punches. You cannot base a whole fighting career on just being a slugger. Because there's always somebody who's gonna come along like a Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. Like a Sugar Ray Leonard, remember him? Like a Muhammad Ali. There's always somebody who's going to come along and scientifically diffuse your slugging ability. Floyd Mayweather Jr., he moved a lot. Floyd Mayweather Jr. showed no fear. Floyd Mayweather Jr. went toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and at the same time, he moved so much. So Carnella wasn't able to set him up for the hard punch that could have knocked him down. He wasn't able to set him up for the heavy punch like he's done in some of his previous fights. And Floyd Mayweather Jr. had just seen to uh, frustrate the guy. The last uh, six rounds, Floyd Mayweather Jr. dominated. I mean, the combinations, the jabs, the punches. And as time went on, I believe that Floyd Mayweather Jr. had wore Saul Alvarez down psychologically. Saul Alvarez is 23 years old. I mean, he's young. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is 36. I mean, he's been doing this for well over 15 years. And the experience pretty much got the best of uh, Saul. Nevertheless, it was a great fight. I mean, Saul, he's a strong fighter. I mean, how many 23-year-olds you know would have survived up against Floyd Mayweather Jr. for all 12 rounds? How many 23 year olds you know would have been able to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. and give a very strong, strong performance? His punches were strong. Carnelo threw a lot of strong punches, but he wasn't swift enough or experienced enough to catch Floyd Mayweather Jr. off guard. I mean, the mind behind Floyd Money Mayweather Jr.'s fighting ability is almost incredible. I mean, like him or hate him. I mean, he's a great fighter, so scientific. And it's almost frustrating to watch that some of the guys that you think that's going to give Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. trouble, that they're not able to give him trouble at all. Floyd Mayweather Jr., his purse was $41 million, over $41 million. And uh, rumor has it that he's made at least $350 million in his whole fighting career. No wonder he can have so many people on staff <laughs> and pay them well. 
Um, tell me what you think about the fight. So there you have it. Uh, first four rounds was a draw, in my opinion. But the rest of the rounds, uh, Floyd Mayweather dominated. Quick, speed, a lot of combinations. And he just did enough to show that he was the more talented, more progressive fighter. Why do you think that the fight went this way? Did Canelo do anything wrong? Could Floyd Mayweather Jr., could he have done better? I mean, come on, I want to know what you feel. I really want to know what you think. Um, Floyd Mayweather Jr. may have two or three more fights before he retired. Do you think he'll retire undefeated? In my opinion, the way it looks now, he may very well retire undefeated. But I want to know what you think. All right, so send your comments now. Send it now. Well, there you have it. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is 45 and oh, he remains undefeated. And Saul Canelo Alvarez is 42, one and one. Great record. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. gathers another belt to add to his collection. But somebody tell me this, Saul Canelo Alvarez at 23 has already had 44 fights? Wow. What, did he have one fight a month? It certainly looks that way. Now, one judge called it a draw. <laughs> what do you feel about that? Another judge gave it 116 to 112 Floyd Mayweather Jr. And another judge gave it 117 111 Floyd Mayweather Jr. Go on, send your comment. I know Floyd Mayweather. I'm talking about Floyd Mayweather Sr. He must be really proud. He did a great job in training his son to yet another victory. Now, I want you to understand something. No matter if the judges gives the fight to Floyd Mayweather Jr., no one, in a sense, never loses to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Because even if the judges vote in his favor, you still walk away a very rich man. I guess the name is true, Floyd Money Mayweather. God bless you guys. We're going to talk to you soon. And like we always say, if you think Celebrity Talk with you, if you think we bring the real, you go on and subscribe. Hey, congratulations, Floyd. I'm talking to both of the Floyds. Congratulations, guys. God bless.